Jeff Supon and Rick Ann Keel are in the house tonight. Many former Cardinals are here. It's the fantasy camp, first time ever in St. Louis. With more on that, where do we find Jim Hayes? Yeah, I'm here with a couple of the rookie campers, Jeff Supon and Rick Ankiel. So, Jeff, I'm going to ask you, you've never done this before, so you're getting a little taste right now. What are your thoughts on what you've experienced to this point? Are you all right? You just, yeah, no, you just neck, shook it up. My neck from all the home runs. Um, honestly, the nerves are starting to set in. And... I, we had a meeting about it and had the, the level of competition has just gone up year after year. Met some of the Hall of Famers uh, for the second, third time. And they're ready. They're ready to go. They're ready to coach uh, and manage to win every And game. Kale's laughing at you behind your back. You're not nervous, are you, Rick? <laughs> hey, a little bit, man. There's a lot of hype going on in that meeting yeah. in there. Yeah. I don't know. What's it like for you guys to be back and, uh, and bump into each other? It's great. I saw him walking in the mall today. He had his spikes on. I had my glove in my hand. It was so you were ready. You were I'm like, hey, what are you doing here? You know, so we're ready to play. And, so, uh, so did they reach out to you, Rick, and say, we'd like you to do this? Did you have any reservations? No, I was excited about it. It's always fun to come back and see the guys. Um, you know, fun to be down there in that meeting, see all the ex-legends, and uh, fun to get together and be a part of it. All right, you retired uh, in January of this year. Do you miss being a, a major league player at all at this point? I love being a major league baseball player, but I love being a father and uh, living at home and, and uh, being with my wife. Dana who's watching probably right now in California. She was supposed to make the trip. And uh, she's probably saying you're a little wordy right now, Jeff. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. No, but uh, I love playing and I love being retired. You can't play forever. And Rick, last time we spoke uh, on the pregame show, I believe you were talking about the book. And I know a lot of people are waiting for the book to come out. Right now, it's in a bit of a holding pattern, right? Um, I wouldn't say holding. I, I think, realistically, the expectations, I wanted to be out uh, this winter, and I don't think realistically that's going to happen. It's just been a little slower process than I thought it was going to be. But, um, you know, as I told you before, you got one story, you only get a chance to tell it once, so I better get it right. Yeah, and it's going to be worth waiting for. All right, before we wrap up here, we've got a little theme going. Do you want to say anything really great about Danny Mac? I think he's a great guy. Rick, something nice about Dan McLaughlin? Uh, Danny, you're the best. Thanks for everything. No, Can I look in the camera? <laughs> yeah. Dan, you're the man. See, Dan, we're always trying to make it about you, sir. It's about Danny Mac. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim, as it should be. <laughs>